hello friends welcome back to code tonight in today's video we will see how to publish code through ftp publisher on flash server so what we have here is we have one solution that we want to publish and we want to use the ftp publish for that purpose now when you want to publish through ftp what you have to do is you have to open the solution and then you have to right click on the solution go to publish okay now here uh, you will find the new option there you have to click on that and then we will select ftp ftps server over here now click on next so this will require few details which you must know before filling all the details okay so you have to know where you want to publish your files so i have here is a uh, plus panel so you can log in into your plus panel we will just see the steps here so we will just log in with your credentials and then we have to figure out where we want to publish the file so i will go to files folder over here and here you will see all the folders which are available on your server so we will just open that so here you can see we have multiple folders over here but uh, i want to publish inside blog.cotonet.com so that is a subdomain that i have created for uh, testing purposes so that is a subdomain and uh, i have to publish my code inside this blog.cotonet.com so what we have to do here is we have to write the server name and that will be blog.cotonet.com because there is a, that is where we want to publish our code and now the site path will be slash blog.cotonet.com because uh, slash means by the root of the directory okay so whatever folder is there that is after the slash okay so you have to enter slash and then the folder name over here now the destination url will be same like the url that you want to use for opening up the code uh, through browser now you have to check the passive mode here and the final thing that we need is username and password so you will get your username and password you can know that by going to website and domains you can use your existing ftp account or you can even create a new ftp user that you can use for uh, publishing the code so here we will find the blog.cotonet.com that is our subdomain okay so you can find your subdomain also there we have the option ftp access you have to click on that so the options might be uh, some different in your scenario but you have to look for where you can create a ftp user so here we have the option of add an ftp account you can click on that and you can create one new user and whatever you will create you have to use the same inside the publish details okay so i have already created one user here so you will see that uh, we have this folder existing so this is the existing user code already here so i will be using that one and we will again go to solution so now we have to fill in the password and now we will just click on validate connection so you can see the connection is validated if uh, sometimes your connection doesn't validate and show some kind of error then what you have to do is you have to actually provide the permission to the user okay so we will again go back to files folder and there we will uh, open up the directory where we want to publish the code and then we will just provide all the permissions over there so this is the root of the project and this is the publish folder so you have to click on the details here change permission and there you will notice the advanced permission button over there you have to click on that okay so you can see all the users are uh, over here and you can see the whatever was your user it will be also here so you have to try to provide all the read and read and write permission you can even provide all the permissions and that will work fine 
so once you provide all the permissions you have to click on save and then uh, you are ready to uh, finish the publish okay so after you have done adding the details you can click on finish over here and you can say it has created the profile if uh, sometimes your username and password is wrong then you will not see this step you will just get an error there okay so if it is showing this then uh, that means that your user is uh, working fine okay so now we will try to publish over here and it will now publish directly to the server so this can this can take some time for doing uh, uh, all the publish because it will upload the files and it will also delete the existing files which are available in the folder and, and then it will publish okay so this is the pop up you will get if uh, your password is somehow wrong or your username is wrong so you have to try re-entering that okay so this time seems like it is working fine so uh, you are seeing it is actually publishing the folder okay so as i said first what it will do is it will uh, delete older files and then it will start uploading the new file So here you will see that uh, web app was published successfully. So this is the message you will receive after the publish is done. So it is now asking for opening the browser and it will open up the URL where you have published. So this is the URL where we have published and you can see that uh, whatever I, was I have published is uh, coming now. And even if you want, you can go to the folder directly in the plask and check your files if they are coming fine or not so that is what you can do so this is the folder i am checking now and just to make sure that your files are correctly there so you can see that all are uploaded on 17 august so that are um, the current files and just publish right now okay so this is how you can publish using ftp on plask okay if you have any issue then you can comment on the video and if you want to check all the steps then you can also check our uh, you can go to browser and search for codenet.com and there you will also see the written documentation for all the steps needed for this so you can check out this uh, using ftp publish blog and then you will see the all the steps that i have mentioned are also described here so you will see all the steps here just you can check if you want so thanks for watching guys